Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon's Stuff. Today we have a first impressions video. Of course, you know that because you read the title, but us YouTubers assume that you don't read the titles. Perhaps you can't read. And we do that so that at the beginning of all of our videos, we can say, What is up, Gideon gang? We've got a banger for you. We're coming in with the first impressions video of this knife here. Woohoo! We don't do that on this channel, though. I've already made that joke in another video, but I'm not sure if that video's come out by the time you're seeing this one, so uh, we'll make that joke again. Um, anyways, yes, today we have first impressions of this little cold steel right here. This is, I'm calling it the cold steel micro and gauge. Blade HQ has these as the uh, cold steel two and a half inch drifter. Um, I guess they just changed the name of the model because it is the Engage. But... Here's the box. Cute, tiny little cold steel box. And yeah, it says Engage. And heck, it says Engage on the blade. So... Not sure why they changed the name, but they did. I'm going to grab a couple of other knives. Give me just a second. Alrighty. So I saw this knife was available, and I decided to pick it up. Uh, just, pretty much just for shits and giggles. I thought it would be funny. And I have ended up liking this knife a lot more than I thought. I've had it for a while now, so, I mean, we're on this first impressions, but... You know, it's just, it's really cool. It's tiny. It, it, it's really tiny. I'm not sure if this is the smallest cold steel folder ever made, but it's the smallest one I have. And... <laughs> Here it is against the biggest uh, folding knife in my collection. I think this is also the biggest folding knife cold steel makes. So we've got the biggest cold steel folder and the smallest. <laughs> That, oh, that's hilarious. So yeah, tiny guy, but this knife here, this knife shows that size isn't everything. Um, let's compare it against a couple of other knives here. Here it is against the CJRB Mylea. Pretty similar in size to that knife. Uh, my bed is over there, so I know in a lot of videos where I film in the corner, I like just randomly toss stuff off screen. Uh, yes, yeah, it's because it's because my bed is there. Uh, here it is against the baby banter. Cool, cool, cool. So I did a short uh, with this knife that came out. Uh, today's the fourth of November, so it came out yesterday. And I filmed it like two days before that. Um, and uh, I called this a cute cold steel knife. And I was going to have that just be uh, the only first impressions I did. But I did want to talk a little bit about this knife some more because I haven't seen it on uh, YouTube very much from anyone else. And it's probably going to be like February by the time I, the, my review for this comes out. So, we're going to talk about it right now. Mountain Dew Major Melon. Um, I said before I'm not a huge soda guy. I'm also not a Mountain Dew fan. I have, I know a lot of people who are like addicted to Mountain Dew. My grandpa calls it horse piss. But, um... I had, I bought a bottle of the uh, Major Melon, I was driving from Cloudcroft, and uh, I stopped there in Cloudcroft and picked up a, one of those drinks at the Allsup's, and it was really good. I really like, I love watermelon, real watermelon, artificial watermelon, it's all good. And so yeah, that, that's kind of been, that's, that, 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 that's drink I enjoy. Even though I don't drink sodas all the time, 
That's been a good one. My favorite soda is apple flavored soda. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, moving on with the knife. It's tiny. <laughs> it's tiny. Um, we have here, it's got the Atlas lock, uh, reversible pocket clip, so it's fully ambidextrous. This pocket clip actually works a lot better than I was expecting it to work since it's got, it's not recessed, it's got button screws, but it works okay. Centering's pretty good. The blade is 4116, and this is a pretty affordable knife. Um, it's under $50. I think these, I got this for like 47. Uh, 4116 steel. It's not a steel that I'm hugely fond of. I've tried it from CRKT and I really didn't like it that much. I am going to be testing this knife at, you know, really, really hard, seeing what I think of cold steels, treatment of that steel. I can tell you right now, gorgeous stone wash on the blade, super thin, uh, very good cutting geometry. I mean, look at that, look at that tip. Very nice and thin, so it, it does cut good. The ergonomics on this knife are fantastic for such a small knife. This finger here, you've got this big area here for this finger, you've got the poon spoon, you put a finger in. Super comfortable, like very hand filling. Even if I'm back here, it's not a full four finger grip, but yeah, I mean, it. I can get a solid grip on the knife. And that's really, really cool. So like I said, I've been carrying this everywhere like this has been my go-to EDC like since I got it I'm either carrying this by itself or I'm carrying something else with this uh, as my secondary knife uh, let's talk about the action so we have thumb studs pops right out you've got a reverse flick that works excellently and it's a front flipper yeah a front flipper and this isn't like with the big one, where you could kind of front flip it if you were being funny. This one, I'm gonna say this knife is a front flipper because it works so reliably. Now there's no jimping up there. If there was jimping, it'd be a lot better. But honestly, it's pretty easy to just front flip that sucker open. Um, super cool, the action is great and it feels like it has a detent. Even though I know it really doesn't have like a traditional detent. That's pretty cool. So yeah, when you reverse flick it, it, it pops. When you thumb flick it, if you're not an idiot, it pops. Really good action. It's broken in to be very smooth. Got a little bit of wiggle in there, but like nothing I'd be concerned about, especially on a knife like this. It is running on washers. Um, it's just super cool. It's super cool. And I mentioned the big one. Got him right here. The biggest difference between these two in terms of their design is that the big one has this big guard here, right? I will be completely honest, I think I like this knife more than the big one. And don't get me wrong, the big one's cool. I do like the big knife, but if you see my review for it, you know that it was not like, uh, for me, it wasn't like earth shattering, like it didn't revolutionize cold steel in my mind. Um, and it's, it's an expensive knife, but uh, this one, like I thought, like I just bought this to be goofy. I'm actually loving it. So yeah, 4116 steel, FRN or GRN, whatever Cold Steel calls it, scales, as opposed to this knife that has S35VN, G10, and this is a really, this is a cool knife. This is a really, really cool knife. I do like it. It's big and crazy. We have a satin finish on the blade. I wish it was a stone wash. Um, but yeah, it's broken into beasts. 
so dang smooth. So smooth. Oops. Come on, Gideon. It does not have that same detent feeling like this one does, though. Um, you know, this one, it's very easy to just pop that blade out. And then if you really want to deploy it that way, you can. Uh, this, this one, I mean, you can if you, like, if you, like, really whack it. But as you can see, there is a little, it's a little bit hard to do. You know, I can't just... I've got to like really, really be careful if I want to do that. So, yeah, and then again, this one you could kind of front flip, but it like takes skill, um, which obviously I have. Uh, if you want to see the review uh, for this, actually, you know, if you want to find any video on my channel, if you want, if you're curious about if I've ever taken a look at one knife or another, uh, I actually have every single video on my channel sorted into playlists. So some of these are by brand, some of these are by subject. Uh, so basically every single video that I make that features a cold steel knife will be in the cold steel playlist. Uh, I have a playlist for all of my shorts. Uh, I have a playlist for unboxings. Uh, I've got a playlist for uh, edge to edge videos, and, you know, all that type of stuff. So if you ever want to just, you know, find a video that I made, or see if I've ever looked at a knife, go to my playlists, look through till you find the brand you're looking for, you can look through there. Um, or, I mean, if you're, if you're really hardcore and you just love this channel so much, you can go to the playlist and watch everything in the playlist. But yeah, I do have everything sorted in the playlist for your convenience. Uh, but yeah, I do like this knife a lot. Uh, it is really, really cool. And honestly, this knife has made me like this one more uh, but I still think I like this one better. Uh, look, th th this whole thing is as big as the blade. When, when, when this thing's folded up, it's, it's as big as the blade on this guy. Isn't that cute? Um, but yeah, you know, this is awesome. I'm not working in the woods on the ranch anymore. Uh, I'm not doing any of my hard use bushcrafting stuff. Uh, I'm at college, I'm in the city, I'm just doing, you know, kind of regular stuff. And so that knife honestly is not as useful to me right now as this one is. And I have, I just, I said in the short I made that I would have never thought that I would ever describe a cold steel knife as discreet and friendly. But this one absolutely is. It absolutely is. And he is such a fidget beast. Like, I fidget with this all the time. I'll be walking from place to place. I'm fidgeting. Oh yeah, you betcha, I'm fidgeting. There's so many cool stuff, so much cool stuff you can do with this knife. Of course, none of it's working now that I'm on camera, but come on, you little bugger. Make me look cool. <laughs> but uh, I've really been enjoying it. And as far as use goes too, yeah, it's great. Opening packages, opening food, cutting strings. It's been great. Of course, I am going to take it out in the woods and do some harder use stuff with it. You know, I'm going to, when the review comes, we'll have some, some cool things going on with this guy. But I have been so impressed with this knife. Uh, I love cold steel. I've got cold steel knives all the way up to the top here from this level up is basically cold steels. And I have an entire video ranking my cold steel collection. This knife would be very high up there. Um, it has probably surprised me more than any other knife this year. It's just, it's just ridiculously good. I really do enjoy it. So I cannot wait for the review, uh, to do the review. I think it'll be really, really cool. Um, but yeah, until then, this has definitely been something that's, that's been living in my pocket quite a bit. So, 
I've been Gideon. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave it a like, comment below, and subscribe. At the time of this recording, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers. We are doing a giveaway for that. Uh, if you want to keep up to date on that, I also have a playlist on giveaway stuff, so you can check that out. Um, but yeah, if you want to win some really cool stuff, subscribe to this channel, and uh, we'll make it happen. Until then, well, uh, until then, until the next video, I've been Gideon. Adios. Get out of here.